Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this Andy Warhol style pop art poster in Photoshop. Now this is the second video of a two-part tutorial where earlier I showed you how to create this pop art image in Photoshop. If you're joining me from that video welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be continuing on from that video but if you haven't seen it, I suggest you click here now. Link is also in the description. You can bring yourself back up to speed with how we created this image here and how we're gonna take this forward and create the poster. Right then, so where I left you in the last video was we had just finished creating this pop art image and I mentioned how we could add more effects to this image to enhance the illusion of the screen printing process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly before I go ahead and do the poster. So I'm going to open up here um, a grit, a gritty texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy or select all of the image. And I'm going to quickly open my layers and paste on top. And I'm going to zoom out and just make that a little bit smaller, like so. Let's zoom back in there. I'm going to come over to my layers and click on multiply and again I'm going to use the image adjustment and level tool just to really push the contrast up in that and we're going to look for an effect that looks a little bit like uh, that that's good and with that we're going to grab the eraser tool and we're going to find ourselves a nice gritty brush and push that up nice and nice and big so we can start to just get rid of some of the texture here we don't we don't want all of that we just want to create the illusion that there's a bit of texture that's come from the screen printing process coming in from the edge there so we can get rid of all of this let's get rid of all of that and if we come to our opacity and change that to about roughly about 10% you can see that it's just subtly creeping in from the from the outside there and that just make, gives it that sort of um, raw sort of organic screen printing look. I am happy with this image and now I'm ready to take it forward and create our poster. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to our layers panel and click on the drop down menu and flatten image. And then I'm going to come up to select all edit, copy, file, new, and I'm going to create a new canvas and I'm going to make it about an A3 size and let's make it 150 dots per inch so it's not too heavy. I'm going to go to image, image rotate, 90 degrees clockwise and edit, paste. And there we are. Now I'm going to press command T and that's going to bring that's going to bring up our toggle scale and by holding shift and moving my mouse cursor over the edge i can click and hold and i can scale the image down nicely there you go i'm going to leave go and press enter and move it into place now by pressing and holding alt and clicking once and dragging right i can duplicate the layer and if I do the same again, press Alt on the keyboard, click on the left mouse, left button on the mouse rather, and just move to the right. I can duplicate the layer very easily. Now they're looking a bit small there, so if I come over to my layers, and if I click on the top layer, and by holding Shift and pressing the bottom layer, that'll select them all. So now I can move these layers together. If I position them in the top, left hand corner there with a nice little margin. I can press command T to toggle the scale and again pressing and holding shift putting my mouse on the bottom and holding I can scale this up nicely. So I'm just going to position it there. Excellent. And like we did earlier on with the three layers selected I can press alt on my keyboard clicking once on the left mouse and moving down I can copy those layers, duplicate those layers zoom in a little bit and I'm going to do that one last time 
So these, these layers are already selected. I'm just going to undo that to put them back in place. I'm going to press Alt. Once, click, on, click and hold on the left mouse and move down and move them into place. There you go. Now if I come back over to my layers and click on the top layer, holding Shift, click on the bottom layer, that will select them all. If I use my arrow keys, I can just move those layers into the desired place. And now it's time to color our individual layers and get that classic wall hall effect. All right, so let's take a look at our image. We've got our layers scattered over. It's a very simple case of choosing our layers. For example, I want to get that top left hand corner. We've got that one. With the layer selected, I'm going to press Command U. That's a shortcut for hue saturation. We can come up to our image adjustments, hue saturation, but the shortcut for that is Command U, Control U on a PC. Right, now quite simply, we're going to toggle the hue level. So if I move this left and right, what you can see is the hue changing. Basically, the colors are changing, it's as simple as that. So let's just go for a purple there, that's good. And if I want to select this layer real quick, I can right, I can put my mouse cursor over it, press on the right button on the mouse, right click, and a list will come up, and it'll no doubt be that one. So I'll click on that, and there it is. So I'll just undo that to put it in place. Again, Command U, and let's toggle the color. Let's let's go for let's go for like a greeny color. That looking good. Okay, let's put my mouse cursor for that top right. Right click and Command U. And let's toggle this one. Let's go for a bluey, bluey color. And again, we can toggle the saturation so we can really push. Let's push that saturation up a little bit. Very nice. And again, with that one, let's change that to a, let's go for a yellow one. Yellowy green. It's looking okay. Again with that one, Command U. What have we got? Yeah, let's go for a red, red, red tone. And I'm just going to quickly do these other three. And once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. And here is our finished Andy Warhol style poster. Using a few simple techniques, duplicating the layer and changing the hue saturation, we were able to change the colors very quickly. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope you found it interesting and I hope you can benefit from some of the techniques I showed you if you didn't already know them. Well, have fun guys and I'll see you next time.